Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to turn off the Windows Ink workspace feature on your Windows computer. So, generally speaking, if you're noticing these random appearance of workspace pop-ups on your screen, you just want to turn that off entirely. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So, First way to do it, there's going to be a couple different ways we're going to walk through in today's tutorial, depending on you know, the severity of your problem. And if one method doesn't work, you can try something else. So first thing we're going to try is opening up the start menu and type in msconfig, best match, or come back with system configuration. Open that up. Select the services tab. And then go down to where it says touch keyboard and handwriting. And if you had a service in here with that name, you would uncheck it and then select OK. So you just would basically be turning that off. Again, the touch keyboard and handwriting panel service, if you had that in here. I'm in a virtual environment. I'm not on a laptop, so that's probably why it's not showing up in here for me. But in your case, you just would uncheck it and then select apply and OK. So that's the first thing you could take a look at. Something else you can try here as well, if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11 Professional or higher editions, you could open up the search menu and type in GP edit, best match, come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. And now that we are in group policy, let me make this window a little bit wider here. You want to go underneath computer configuration and double click on administrative templates. And then you want to select the windows components button. And now that we're in here over on the right side, you want to locate windows Inc. and Windows Ink Workspace, double click on it. Should be something that says allow Windows Ink Workspace. Go ahead and double click on it. And you wanna select the disabled option and then select okay. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and close out of here and you would need to restart your computer in order for the change to take effect. So just go ahead and restart your computer at this time. Now, if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home Edition, you do not have the Group Policy Editor, so you'd have to go through the Registry Editor instead. So in order to do it that way, you would open up the Search menu, type in RegEdit, best result, should come back to Registry Editor, right-click on it, select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And before you proceed in the Registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I'm recommending naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select File and then Import, and then navigate to the file location. So now that that is done, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same for the software folder. Go down to policies and double click on it. Should be a Microsoft folder in here. Double click on that as well. And then finally, there should be a Windows Inc. workspace folder in here. So if you do not see a Windows Inc. workspace folder, you're going to have to right click on the Microsoft folder. Select new and then select key. Name this key Windows Inc. Workspace. Exactly how you see it on my screen. First letter of each word should be capitalized. No spaces in here. So again, Windows Inc. Workspace. Hit Enter. And now on the right side of this new key that we've created, you want to right click in a blank area. Select New. And then select the word 32-bit value. You want to name this value Allow Windows Inc. Work 
space exactly how you see it on my screen. Again, first letter of each word should be capitalized. No spaces in between any of them in here. Again, allow Windows Inc. workspace. Hit enter. Once that is done, go ahead and double click on that value. It should be a default value of zero because we just created it. Base should be hexadecimal. Select OK. Once that is done, you will need to restart your computer for the change to take effect. So let's go ahead and restart our computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.